better get 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 it right. Go ahead, old Fantasia. Oh my God. Hey fam, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, RobertAnton.com. I'm coming to you, and I have just picked up, let me, where my stuff at? Where my stuff at? Let me find my thing over here. Let me tell you, Fantasia, the side effects of you. Um, and let me tell y'all now, I'm going to do a quick review. I'm going to try not to talk about everything, but I have a little list of things that I want to go through for sure. And make no doubt, I am a Fantasia stan, okay? Okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> so I love me some Tasia from American Idol Days, baby. Let me tell you, and I'm still loving on her. So what I want to do is I want to start out and I want to give, I think, just the two or three bad things that I am not crazy about about this CD, okay? Because I'm going to rant about some great some stuff after that because I'm loving it. Okay, one of the things that I don't like, and I talked about this in a review that I did before of her CDs, is kind of the dumbing down of Fantasia. I fell in love with the Fantasia who's a squalling, church-going, hallelujah, good time girl. You know what I'm saying? And in this especially, I, I mentioned last time that she was going more towards urban contemporary and straight ahead R&B. And this is going even further. But she is giving me a little more life in this one because she has gotten to write some of her own stuff for this. She has helped in the writing, let me say. She's collaborated with everybody, with all the other writers on several tracks on the CD. So we get to hear a little bit of her. And I have no doubt that Fantasia is doing some of the arrangements, arrangements on many of her songs or having a good say in them because no matter who's producing her material, she always has such wonderful arrangements arrangements of the music. So I, either her or somebody in her family, somebody who knows her well or something, they are arranging. This is produced by Harmony Samuels and let me tell you, he writes on it, produces it, he plays several instruments and programs stuff and does some backgrounds on the project. So this is really his baby just as well as hers. Wonderful job, dude. Wonderful job. And I wrote, and let me say, I wrote this at the end, but I'm going to go ahead and say it now. Fantasia is bringing the R&B diaspora from R&B to reggae, hip-hop to pop, jazz and gospel that she describes as rock soul a la Tina Turner and James Brown and for me she is bringing just the black music experience from head to toe and that includes rock y'all know me you know the innovators on going on in that <laughs> And Fantasia has just the ability to get inside a lyric and just make you feel what she is feeling at that moment. She has touched me many times on this CD. And let me tell you, I wanted to do the review after I got the actual hard copy CD. And last time it took me about three weeks, but of course I bought it the first day this time. But even before that, it came out and I was doing my uh, the voice commentary. So I was like, oh my God, I want to hear it, I want to hear it, I want to hear it. So I went on iTunes and I played those clips over and over and over again. I basically knew the music. I had a favorite already. Uh <laughs> Before I heard the whole song, if I was a bird, because I was like, I am feeling what she is talking about in this song. And when I heard the full thing, it did not let me down. So let me get into it. Oh, another thing that I wanted to say. There is one song. It's the first song that came off the CD, Lose to Win. And you know, there's a lot of sampling and stuff going on. And even in the notes it said it's sampled. But this song seems to be pretty much totally lifted. All the music straight through from beginning to end. From Night Shift, uh, the Commodores. And he just adds in some extra your beats and whatnot and writes another song over the top of it. And I can understand that, you know, it's familiar and people, you know, can get down with it and they hear it. But it's like, come on, man, we can, we can try to be a little more creative than that just to take somebody else's total music and just go ahead and just appropriate it. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully they own most of that project. But when I saw Fantasia perform it on Idol, oh my God, I fell in love with it. And it's just the way she puts across the song, the way she just gets inside of it and makes you feel it. So, yeah, that's one of the other things that I was not crazy about. But I do like the song, even though I didn't like it. They totally lifted the whole music from the Commodores. All right, so let me get into it and just talk about a few things. Ain't All Bad brings that reggae to R&B from verse to chorus. And this is something that I have not heard a lot of with other artists. You know, there's the whole reggae thing that's been going on, the soca thing that people are trying to get into. But Fantasia starts out the song with that and then goes in seamlessly into this R&B vibe and then goes back and forth between the reggae and the R&B really hot. 
really nice and really innovative. If I was a bird, like I said, was my favorite on first listen to the clips. I guess it's just part of what's going on with me right now, but it touched me down. Without Me, featuring Kelly Rowland and Missy Elliott, is a banging mid-tempo with a hard beat and sweet chopped and screwed vocal sample. This one had me grooving when I first heard it on YouTube. Missy Elliott slayed her verse, and it is just really nice. And it just had me just... <laughs> I was like, go ahead. Hey, go ahead, Fantasia. Working it out. Side effects of you. What is it? Emily Sande was in the writing collab for this one, and she also was on background vocals. I wrote a sweet, sappy ballad that comes off as a torch song as sung by our Fanny. She really gets into it, rips into it, and just makes it the ish, you know what I'm saying? Get it right, okay, is I wrote a sweet up tempo and Fanny's get 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 it right. Oh I I can't get enough of this she does oh 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 and this call to response is so fresh and I wrote it's a fresh it's a fresh take on a classic format but especially at the end when she does her last thing and they don't even try to get the chorus to do it. They don't even go there each time and I think it's so funny because it's like okay we can't do that Fantasia that is strictly you baby just work it out, girl. So much to prove sounds epic. I mean, just the production is really great. And it seems to be her anthem on this project because she keeps doing this. She's still on here. She been down. Now she has a whole lot to prove. And let me tell you, I believe with this CD, she has proved it. I can see Grammy nominations. It you heard it from here first. You didn't hear it probably first here because I'm sure somebody else has said it. But if you ain't heard nobody else's review, you heard it here first. Lighthouse had me emotional after a few listens. You know, at first I listened to it, you know, with the clips and stuff. But I was like, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Then I heard the full thing. And I got emotional and like tears started coming to my eyes. And I was, I don't even know what it was about it. But it just was like, you know, it was kind of like her saying, you know, you can beat me down. You can talk about me. You can do whatever you're going to do. It was really one of those very spiritual, uplifting type songs. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on doing it because I know that people are looking at me and seeing me as that lighthouse, as that, that light in the storm that they can follow to, to better ground. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I got out of it. So what did you get out of it? It was really touching to me. And I wanted to talk about which one did I skip? Oh, I skipped something. Okay, change your mind. I heard this in the uh, clips and I was like, hold on, what is that? And I was singing along with it and I was like, okay, that's Whitney Houston's I'm Your Baby Tonight. They did a sample of that and they even used uh, some of the melody in key parts of the song, but it had a nice intricate bridge and you know, some nice little changes and what that not that really brought something new to it but still I'm like I, I, I just hear Whitney all up and through there so I'm like what's going on here uh yeah what's up what's up here but anyway I am loving this project so much what I am not liking is there's a song called Haunted and Kiss Bang Boom that's supposed to be on the Target exclusive I went out and got the hard copy y'all should be letting us download them exclusives for free you know what I'm saying <laughs> But I'm going to have to find somebody to get it for me or either I'm going to have to go somewhere and download them because I got to hear these songs because I'm loving this whole CD. It has been on replay and it probably will be for the next few days. If you guys are loving it, tell me what your favorite track is. <sighs> side effects of you, baby. Let me tell you what the side effects of Fantasia are. Uplifting, emotion, some crying, some shouting. She makes me want to sing. I said there's several numbers where she's doing her little trills and her little riffs and I'm like, ah! going on and just start singing. I know my neighbors. It's like almost 2 o'clock in the morning, right? <laughs> and I know like that motherfucker. That boy is still doing his thing. But let me, she got me excited. Sound effects of you, baby. Go out and get it. Tell me what you think of it. And she is looking gorgeous. So gorgeous. Go ahead on, Fantasia. I love you, girl. We love what you do and are in full support every single time you come out. <sighs> Oh, oh Fantasia! <laughs> I'm out.